Hi, I'm Abhijit from MarkGaylor.com. And I'm Mark Gaylor. And uh, we're going to talk to you about straps. Yeah, so the camera already comes, most times when you have a camera, whether it's from the Alpha series or Sony or any other camera really, it already comes out of the box with a strap. Yeah. And yet, you've got online stores and camera stores that are just chock full of so many different strap solutions around the wrist, around the neck. Why would we bother if we already got what seems to be a perfectly usable camera strap? Yeah, look, um, this one is obviously still uh, comes with this little band here, uh, basically. Uh, it's never been opened. It's never been opened. Those are the things that usually stay in the box. They don't come out of the box. Um, one of the reasons for that is I don't like the neck strap uh, and just dangling the camera in the middle of your chest. Um, basically, as you, um, maybe for street photography, um, you're basically advertising that there's a photographer approaching. And uh, it looks, it makes me feel like a tourist when I'm hanging the camera. Uh, around my neck like that. The other thing with those straps is um, they're nicely badged with Sony but they don't have uh, a lot of support on the shoulder. They don't have um, very comfortable straps. So there's a number of reasons why ph uh, photographers choose uh, to uh, modify um, that strap. And uh, so we'll, we'll talk about some of the options today perhaps. Yeah. I've got a camera here uh, that's got two straps attached. Uh, instead of using a, a neck strap, one of the things that we can actually use with these mirrorless lighter cameras is we do have the option of using a wrist strap. Now here's uh, one wrist strap solution. This is uh, made from neoprene. I don't actually know who remember where I got this one from. But the, um, uh, the way that we typically work with that camera is to have the strap just coming over the wrist there. I actually don't like um, the strap mechanism or the, the strap itself coming over the top of the hand here. Uh, I would actually prefer to have a wrist strap that mounts uh, on the base of the camera. This was the, uh, the, actually the first uh, wrist strap that I uh, actually owned here. I bought this from a company called Jessops in the UK. I think, uh, I think they've gone bust now but they may have um, emerged from the ashes. Um, but this uh, wrist strap was one of the only wrist straps that was actually sold uh, 10 years ago. But now uh, they are coming more back into fashion and we can find lots of wrist straps that actually mount to the tripod mount of the camera. So I just want to show you um, uh, a wrist strap or a couple of wrist straps that uh, I've been using recently. Uh, this one is by an American company called Carry Speed. Carry Speed. Again, this is neoprene, so it's very comfortable on the wrist. Uh, it mounts to the base plate. We also have a quick release mechanism if you want to get out of the wrist strap and leave the camera perhaps uh, somewhere else. So that's useful. Do you have a preference, Mark, of having the wrist strap on the lug next to the camera or underneath for the tripod? Yeah, mounts? definitely underneath now. I, I actually. Oh, I'm not sure, I just don't like um, the straps coming from uh, the top lugs there. Yeah. So I haven't actually mounted um, straps uh, on these lugs for many years now. Um, if you do uh, uh, like that uh, approach, however, you can get some very discreet um, s uh, straps. This is uh, from a company called Mainline in Sydney. Um, this is a little leather strap that mounts to the top. It's it's very um, it's got a very artistic yeah, kind of handmade feel to it. That's right. It's quite easy to um, to connect. Uh, some people will connect them with a quick release lug, which you can uh, put in between uh, the camera strap lug and the and the strap itself. Uh, that uh, gives you the option of get, um, removing the strap very quickly from the camera. Um, so that that's uh, that's quite a good option there. Uh, the camera that I'm currently use uh, the strap that I'm currently using and this may change next week or any time, is uh, this one's by um, uh, Peak Design. And uh, you can see this uh, strap is mounting to the base plate of the camera, uh, but this is actually an Arca Swiss uh, mount. So this, uh, without removing um, the camera strap, I can actually put this onto a tripod. And they do have um, alternatives for like Manfrotto. Um, connections as well yep. and you can see I can quickly uh, remove that from the camera uh, really That's quite quickly. a handy release mechanism as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, very very clever. And if you prefer to go into um, uh, hang on. Okay, if you prefer to go into um, uh, a, a more full-on strap, maybe your the weight of the lens that you're using has increased um, then you can go uh, and attach uh -huh. um, whole body strap. This is actually a sling strap 
and maybe I should talk to you about uh, sling straps which is why if I'm carrying very heavy cameras I actually prefer to use um, these uh, these sling type straps. And these have, um, the straps themselves are quite wide which allows the weight to be distributed yeah. across your shoulder quite yeah. a bit more than the narrow straps yeah. that cameras usually come with. So this is a peak design but um, perhaps one of the most um, the biggest companies making these type of straps for pro photographers and uh, people carrying heavy camera gear is uh, Black Rapid. Um, That's right. And there's also a company called Joby uh, making a sort of a cheaper variation but still quite effective. Uh, I actually got a Joby strap uh, mounted to uh, this uh, beast. <laughs> this is the uh, the Sony 28-135 Cine lens uh, mounted to a, an A7S Mark II and obviously we're getting out of that street style wrist strap now that's not really an option for us we, we need to go for the sling strap so I just thought I'd uh, put this on and uh, we'll show you how this actually works okay this is the Joby but uh, black rapid peak design pretty much work in a similar sort of way and that is, is um, this is tight into the body now but as I raise the strap lengthens as you can see and then I can lower the camera and I can pull it tight again and uh, when I lock it off okay if I lean forward uh, the camera doesn't swing out and uh, bang into uh, walls or anything to damage the camera it stays tight I can also move this around so it hangs uh, quite close into the back and again, this uh, for me is a much uh, preferable option than just the neck strap. And uh, if you are shopping for these, you can get these with um, increasing levels of support on the shoulder, depending on how heavy so the camera is. So that would mean a, a wider strap, perhaps? A wider strap. Yeah. So this is um, an adjustable sling strap. If you find that this is perhaps, um, you'd like to go with this, but perhaps not have the size of this strap uh, mechanism, then again, we've got some uh, options there. Um, this is um, a very small one, really designed for mirrorless cameras, perhaps like Leicas or the Sonys. And this is a, a, a very discreet sling strap. You can see from the width of it and the, and the box that it's coming out of. And this is a, a sling strap, but um, it doesn't shout, um, this camera is really heavy. Uh, maybe you're just working uh, with a 35mm street lens um, uh, or a Voigtlander lens, and this is a, a really discreet but also a well-made strap. This is a company called Artisan. If you're just looking to personalize your camera, there are many options um, for that. And if you, are, if you don't mind hanging the camera around uh, your body um, and uh, around your neck, then we do have um, straps that are higher quality than the, the Sony one, I have to say. This is a beautiful uh, woven strap. Um, it looks very comfortable and that's appropriate if your camera is light but again I'd probably go for the sling strap arrangement as the weight increases. Yep, it's interesting you mentioned about customizing your camera as well because often the camera strap that comes with the camera which is the point where we started off it emblazons the brand yeah. and the mark of the camera on it yeah. and some kind of vanity conscious shooters are perhaps a little bit self-conscious that yeah. you're, you're kind of um, announcing what brand of camera you're using, yeah. which then has implications of if you're traveling, yeah. and what that signals that sends out. Yeah, and that's probably one of the reasons I don't use those um, those out of the box straps. I don't like um, shouting, you know, which camera manufacturer I have allegiance to. Yeah, I know some people do like that, but um, you know they feel part of the club or That's whatever right. yeah. um, but um, I, I actually like uh, these type of straps which is just functional and working and um, this one's got really nice uh, again sling strap arrangements for uh, quickly adjusting uh, the length of the strap. What's also interesting are the mounting mechanisms that a lot of the straps come with. Mm. Uh, some of the default ones can be quite fiddly yeah. um, and those with um, perhaps are not quite as dexterous or yeah. with larger fingers can find yeah. it very tricky to thread yeah. them in. Yeah. Whereas some of these aftermarket straps have yeah. lots more easier yeah. and some of the quick release options yeah. as well. Yeah, And uh, a lot of the companies, you need to investigate this, but uh, you don't lose access to your tripod mount if you do decide that um, you're going to move between strap and camera. And I think uh, the Peak Design have uh, uh, really thought about that quite carefully um, because these little lugs that you see here, um, these can be attached pretty much. You can have yeah. them hanging off every orifice or connecting, connection to the camera. So you really have a, a great deal of, uh, of choice 
about where you put those and they are very quick release yeah and they um, they, they actually give you extras in the box when oh, you right. buy this and you yeah. can buy them separately if you you know, put a lot of wear on these type of lugs then and you could yeah. have multiple cameras with the lugs on them that's right but use the same strap same strap yeah that's right so it's really handy it's really quite um, uh, a thoughtful design coming from uh, yeah. that company oh for sure well in our efforts to to simplify the choice that we've got mm -hmm. we've actually opened kind of a pandora's box yeah. and there's so many different choices and, and those like myself who are easily overwhelmed mm -hmm. it can get it can be confusing again so what would be three quick tips for someone looking to buy a camera strap what are three things we could think about to help us narrow down that choice okay for working really light um, with a, with an a7 or a6000 and you're really into that um, street photography or you don't hold the camera very long i would actually think um, check out the wrist straps uh, that's definitely a, a way to go mm -hmm. and because you can put the camera down and put it in a, a bag quite quickly um, downside of, of, of wrist straps is if you're changing your lens a lot um, one of your one of your hands has got the camera in yeah. so that just makes it a little bit more complicated if you can't go hands-free um, rummage in your camera bag um, second tip uh, as the weight increases uh, check out uh, wrist straps. Okay, um, that does mean that you can move the camera into position body for straps. walking your body straps. Body straps yeah. yeah, third tip: to try before you buy. Yeah, it's where it's where the camera shops really come into their own. Maybe this is the third trip tip: is um, check out these uh, options in the camera store. Uh, buying online is one thing, but you don't really get a good uh, feel for feel for whether this uh, brand suits you or not. Which is a really, really handy one, I think, yeah. once you actually bring the kit that you'll be using, the body lens combinations that you yeah. might be going traveling with or yeah. shoot most often, yeah. testing out your strap yeah. with that combination yeah. is probably going to be the most effective guide. Yeah, when I, when I bought the uh, Peak Design system, um, the guy in the camera shop was very knowledgeable. He talked to me about the, the, uh, the options that I could go for and um, because there's quite a few configurations that you can go with that system. And so you get really good advice. Uh, you know, where um, I was doing this in uh, Michael's uh, camera store in Melbourne, but you'll probably have a, 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 a your favourite camera store. But yes, uh, perhaps don't buy these ones online. Go to a camera store and support their um, support them. Right. So quick recap: three quick tips. If you're shooting with the same lens most of the time, or you're doing mm -hmm. street, wrist straps are a great yeah. option. Yeah. If you're shooting with larger lenses and or your camera is quite heavy, then the body strap is a good yeah. option. Yeah. And the third tip is. Try before you buy. Take your camera combination you into the store. Try the straps on, and that's probably your best bet. Yes, excellent. excellent. <laughs> that's correct. Don't forget to subscribe because that allows you to stay in loop whenever we publish new videos. And we'll catch you next time. <laughs>